Looks like we're camping out under the stars tonight, guys. Greetings, everybody. My name is Lobo, and welcome to episode 9 of my Minecraft survival series. As you can see, I've got all my stuff behind me, and that's not because I've been evicted. That's because today we're going to take a little break from Project Altered Beast, and we're going to come back here and we're going to work on this build that we started so long ago. And that's what these next two episodes are going to be about. They're going to be about making progress, or actually finishing up these, these builds that we've started. So we've got this building that you see behind me, the Enchanted Pickaxe, and we've also got our ship build. And the reason why I want to get those finished is because I want to start some new projects in our village. I'm ready to start something new and expand. So, without any further ado, let's go on inside and see what we're working with. I've cleared out most of the interior. I have it pretty much in my head how everything's going to be in here. You saw I had dirt down here in previous episodes. That was kind of just like, you know, getting the general layout of it, like actually set out physically on the floor. But before we get any of that furniture or any of the other stuff in here, I think the most prudent thing to do would be to get started on our walls. And since that's not really the most interesting thing, I think we're going to go ahead and do that in a time lapse. Alright, well that was easy enough. The next thing I want to do, as far as furniture goes, well I guess not really furniture, uh, but the thing that's going to be the most fun for me is what we're going to get started with. So we're going to go ahead and put in a redstone pinball machine. So let's go ahead and clear some space for it right here. And you'll notice I already got this room in the back cleared out. It's, it's right underneath our fountain. And I don't know why I like to do redstone close to water. It's kind of dangerous, so I don't see the appeal of it. Um, I don't know why I do that, but let's go ahead and uh, we'll get our uh, pinball machine built. We'll use a couple redstone lamps. We'll put them on the ground like this. Now we need one more up top right here, and that's basically going to give us the shape of our pinball machine. It's looking good. So the next thing we want to do is put some rails on top of it, and everything's going to light up and blink and, and you know make some noise and be generally obnoxious. That's what I'm going for, a generally obnoxious machine. We'll throw a couple buttons on the side because pinball machines have buttons on the side for the flappers. We'll throw some paintings on it for decoration. We'll do that one right there. We'll do not that one because that's not the right size. We'll do that one right there, creeper pinball. So we'll do the same thing to this side. We'll see if we can get another creeper pinball. That's, again, not the right size. Come on, creeper pinball. No. Creeper pinball. No. Creeper pinball. No. Creeper... <laughs> uh, this is not working out at all. I am sorry. We don't want flower pot beachside pinball. We want creeper pinball. Oh, come on. All right, there we go, finally. Now how I want this system to work is I want you to actually have to put money in it for it to be operational. So I think what we're going to do is we need to get under the machine, we need to get behind it. So we're going to go ahead and clear out this section of wall right here just so we can go back and forth. And uh, we're going to take out some of the floor behind it. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a hopper underneath that will accept our money. And we'll run that into a comparator and then we'll run that to the rest of the system. But first I need to get the rest of this floor taken out and we'll get everything prepped to accept our redstone. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the floor. Um, you know, we got the walls and the ceiling still to do, and I think I'm going to take care of that off camera because it's not particularly exciting. But, let's uh, head out here and we'll get started on our machine. Now, um, how we want this thing to work is we want to be able to put our money into it, so we'll throw a hopper down right in front of it so we can just chuck our gold coins at it. And uh, that doesn't look particularly good, so we'll take a piece of carpet, we'll throw a carpet over top of it. That carpet's kind of a placeholder for now, obviously we'll get some more in, but we got to figure out the rest of the layout of this floor first. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and head behind it, and um, we know we want it to make noise. So we're going to take a couple note blocks, we're going to put them down right about here, right underneath where you'll most likely be standing. And yeah, I think that's going to work. We can take a couple slabs, we can bring this out by two, uh, because we need to put our comparator right here, right here, <laughs> if I can get it in there. Hold on a second. All right, this is not working out. All right, there we go. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. 
All right, and now what we're going to do is take a redstone dust. We're going to put that there. It's going to, the hopper is going to give the comparator a signal strength of one to put out. So it's only going to power that one piece of dust right there, which is fine because what we need to do is power our lamps. So we need to put a full block in right underneath our lamp so that we can run a line to the lamps. So let's go ahead and put this slab right there. That's looking good. Next thing we need to do is we need to um, put a torch right here. So that one redstone dust is going to power on and off that torch. And that's how we're going to activate our system, but our system needs something to activate. So we're going to put these uh, these slabs right here so we can run a redstone line to our lamps. And we'll probably bring this out to the side so that way we don't run into our fountain behind us. We don't have a whole lot of room to play with. Let's go ahead and dust this. And uh, this basically will power these bottom two lamps. We do still need to power the top one, but we'll work on that in a minute. Uh, we want to get some power to our note blocks as well. So we'll run a line from each of our note blocks all the way back. I'll run this one back as well. You can see that one's already activated, but that's fine. It can stay on permanently. It's not going to make any more noise until we get our redstone clock in place, which is going to make it kind of repeat over and over. And then we need to power our top lamp. So how we're going to do that, we're just going to use these stairs and we're going to step it up a little bit and then we'll throw some dust over. I guess they're not really stairs. I'm going to need some stairs if I want to get up there. Uh, let me go ahead and pop up here real quick. All right, so now I just want to power these uh, these top two blocks right here. So we'll throw some redstone dust on this one and some on that one. And from there, it's just a simple matter of... You'd think this would be a simple matter too, but it's not. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, let me just hop down here and then we can commence with uh, what we were doing before. So basically we're gonna take that line. We want it to run all the way down to the bottom because we want all our systems to kind of to kind of meet and be able to affect each other, right? So we're gonna take our redstone dust. We're gonna throw that right there. That's basically connect, gonna connect it down to the floor. And then we need to figure out where we wanna put our redstone clock. And I think I wanted to do it in that corner right over there. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put a torch down right here. We'll run that torch into a comparator, like so. We'll put that comparator in subtract mode, and then we'll run uh, some dust out of it. We'll make a whole little redstone clock. We'll ring around this little pillar right here. You can see it's all connecting. That's fine, because that's supposed to. That's going to be all in the same circuit. So we'll run uh, some more redstone dust right here. This is a completely separate part of our system. Not really separate. Um, it, it's just on separate timing. It's on separate timing is what I want to say. But we need to block this off because we don't want it connected to both sides. So we need to put that right there. That cuts that signal right there. And now we're good. All right. So um, I'm not sure if... Now that redstone doesn't affect that repeater, but just for safety, I'm going to go ahead and throw another another block right here. Uh, symmetry. Symmetry. Yeah. Anyway, that uh, the note block and the lights are all on that one side right there, that one signal. And this separate note block, this other note block on this other side will run on a separate timing. So that we can have them kind of alternating with their beeps. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's that's the system complete. It's very quick and dirty redstone. It's it's you know, there's probably a better way to do it, but you know, that's just the easiest way I thought. So um, now we can test out our system, which means we need some money, and I didn't bring any with me. I will be right back. All right, so we got our gold coin. We don't use nickels, dimes, and quarters here, folks. We use gold coins to power our stuff. So let's go ahead and try this out. <laughs> and we get this thumping bass beat. I put my uh, note blocks on stone slabs, didn't I? I meant to put them on dirt. So, uh, you know, I'm going to take care of that and then we'll come back and <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll test that out. All right. So once we get this uh, last note block in right here, we'll have less of a dance party, more of a, a pinball machine type sound. We get The dirt gives it kind of a piano sound. I'm trying to get this tuned properly. Uh, if, if you've heard me sing on this channel before, which I do accidentally from time to time, you'll know that I'm kind of tone deaf, so... <laughs> Let's see, how's that sound? Yeah, that's that's suitably annoying. That's, that goes well together. All right. <laughs> By well together, I mean it's, it's obnoxious. We want this machine to be bright, we want it to be loud, we want it to be obnoxious, and generally not something you want to keep on. So, um, I think what we want to do now, in, instead of having them go off at the same time, we want to adjust our timing a little bit. And have them alternate kind of like that. So I, yeah, I think this is it. I think this is our pinball machine pretty much done. So we can move on to something else. All right, pinball machine done. We'll do the big reveal. You can see it working at the end of the episode. Uh, next thing I want to do though is a pool table. So we're gonna do that right here. We're gonna do it, I think, four wide by five long. Three, four. We'll put a block right here. That's gonna represent where our hopper is gonna go because we want it to activate kind of the same way as a pinball machine. Like you have to pay to use it because you know it's a it's a pool table. And you have to pay to use them, right? Because nothing in this world's free. And uh, that's that's why I don't play a pool. <laughs> All 
But yeah, we'll go ahead and get this uh, perimeter built out. We'll bring this all the way around like this, and this will give us a general shape of our pool table. It's not regulation size, but you know, it'll it'll do for right now. It fits the size of our building. So next thing we're going to do is put some signs down right here. And this is a nifty little trick I learned from watching Good Times with Scar. If you're looking for any um, any Minecraft design tips, I highly recommend his channel. Uh, we need to put some carpet down, if I can get that right there. And then basically what we're going to do is bring this carpet over like this, and it makes it look like a pool cue sitting on top of the table, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take these out, and uh, we'll get started on uh, the rest of our system. And... You know, I guess I didn't really need to do all this. I mean, it's just a pool table, but you know, I just, I kind of like to have fun with stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a hopper down right here, which means we need to take some of this floor out. So we'll go ahead and knock this down. And actually looking at that, the, uh, the slabs, they're not going to let us run the redstone the way we did for the pinball machine. So we're going to have to go a little bit deeper. We'll probably have to go down a little bit more. And, and while the pinball machine didn't really serve too much a purpose, I think this will serve even less of a purpose. <laughs> And that's kind of like the redstone I specialize in, stuff that's completely useless and nonsensical that nobody else would ever use in their builds. Because I think it's kind of funny, like who needs fish cannons? Who needs a pinball machine that, that beeps? Who needs a pool table? That uh, what, what, what this pool table is going to do, I haven't really talked about that, is it's going to shoot billiard balls out of the top. So that way we can rack them. I mean, completely nonsensical, but kind of fun, you know? And it says little details I like in builds. So we'll go ahead and throw our two hoppers down like this. Two hoppers, because again, it's going to be slightly deeper than our pinball machine. But basically the same concept. We're going to take a redstone comparator output from this bottom hopper. We're going to run into the wall right here. Not actually running into the wall. We're going to run into a redstone line. That is very close. I'm glad that worked out. Uh, we're going to run into a redstone line and bring it all the way around like this. And then we'll bring it down the wall like this. And we'll run it underneath our pool table right here. Um, I'm not sure how far it should go. I should probably get inside the pool table. So that way I can see where everything's running. Um, I know we're going to put a couple redstone dust up here because we're going to run a redstone burnout clock, burnout torch circuit thingy. I don't know what it's called. Whatever it's called, it's going to cause our dropper to fire out our billiard balls in rapid succession, which is all I'm after here. So to get this thing working, we need to put a full block in right about there. And then um, we need to make these full blocks. So we'll take our slabs back out. Let's see, got those, we'll bring those over here. Actually, you know what, I could have used the planks, but now I have these. So we're just gonna use these right now. We're just gonna use these. So we'll go ahead and put another one in right there, and then we need to run our torches under it. So we'll put a torch on the bottom right there, and we'll put two more torches right here. You see those power off because the torch on the bottom is active, and now we need to get out of here. So we'll go ahead and dig our way out. All right, and now that we're out, we'll check everything out. Looking good, looking good. That's powered on, everything's looking right. Um, we do need to come over here and we need to put a repeater down in this spot, which will um, affect the torch on the opposite side. And now we think we just need to put our dropper in and we should be good to go. All right, dropper goes right here. And then we can put a hopper in to the other side right there to collect our balls when we're done with them. So yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Very simple, very easy, should be kind of fun. So we'll go ahead and cover this up. We'll get it looking more like a pool table and less like a weird redstone contraption. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's our pool table. Um, I don't like the fact that the carpet's taller than the rest of it. So we'll probably put some trap doors. Actually, no, I think trap doors would be too tall. Uh, some pressure plates. We'll put some pressure plates around the edge and that should be it. All right, so I am back after collecting plenty of dye and plenty of wool. And we're just going to throw that into our machine. We're going we're gonna to stock it up. Throw our cue ball in there, we'll throw these other ones in there, we'll get the brown, the orange, our eight ball, and we'll throw all the rest of this in there, and then our machine should be ready for its first trial run. Now half those colors probably don't even belong on billiard balls, but they're in there anyway, and they're not coming out because we missed. <laughs> Let's try that again. All right, they're still not coming out. What did I do wrong here? What did I mess up? Oh, okay, okay, I see. I missed a repeater. Uh, that's it. I just missed a repeater. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and I will be back with you guys in just a minute. All right, let's go ahead and take our money out so we don't prematurely activate this machine. We'll go ahead and break this. We'll throw a repeater in there like that. And now our machine is ready for its second trial run. And this time I'm thinking it should work. So let's go ahead and see. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. All right, let me go put these back and then we can get started on something else. 
All right, so we're not quite done with the pool table yet. You know, we still got to do the overhead lighting. I got the pressure plates on, by the way. Uh, but we'll do some overhead lighting on the pool table. Just kind of make it even with the uh, the intersection of our pool table. So we'll put some lighting down. We'll do two more on this side and make everything nice and even. That is not nice and even. We need two more right here. And then we need to take out those other two. And then we're going to power it from the second floor. We're getting very lucky. You can see our lights just barely missed our enchanting table. We're going to cover it over with carpet. And the thing is, we can't put carpet between the bookcases and the enchanting table because that will void the effect the bookcases have on it. So we're very lucky. We can just throw a lever down right here. We can carpet over this area and we'll be fine. Now, it's not always fun and games inside the Enchanted Pickaxe. Sometimes our miners just want to come and have a place to relax after a hard day's work. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make them a little dining area. So we'll uh, go ahead and add a couple tables in. We'll use pistons instead of the uh, the classic fence posts with pressure plates on top. Just because I'm not a huge fan of that. I think the top looks way too skinny. It doesn't really have much detail. Pistons, I, I do like the way those look. They got a little detail to them and they're, they're kind of thicker. So we'll go ahead and pop out here. We'll see how that looks. I think that's going to work just fine. So yeah, I mean, that works. Let's go ahead and seal this back up and looking good, looking good. That's our table. So we'll go ahead and do two more probably over here in this little window seating area. And uh, I'll go ahead and put those in. I'll be right back with you. All right, so all our tables are in, but unfortunately, our miners don't really like standing while they're eating. You know, they've had a hard day at work. So they just, they just want to relax once they, uh, once they get off. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some seating in here. So I brought some samples with me. First, we're going to start with this dark oak. And I'm actually going from what I think, in my opinion, is the least likely to work to most likely to work. And that blends in with the bottom of the wall a bit too well. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. And we'll try our next least likely to work option, which is going to be spruce stairs. And this is probably going to go a little too well with the top of our wall. But again, I just want to see all my options and see if something's going to work out better, better than something else. Um, and that is not going to work. So our next option is going to be the oak stairs. And these kind of go a little too well with the floor, I think, or they're going to. Once we get them in, let's check it out. And that actually doesn't look half bad. Um, but yeah, it does go a little too well with the floor. So... Yeah, we'll go ahead and take those ones out. We'll get rid of those ones right now, and then we'll go with our two most likely to work options. So our first most likely to work option is going to be the stone stairs. So we'll go ahead and get these in here. We'll see how this one works. Um, that's I do like how that looks. That's not going to be very comfortable for our miners at all, but I do like how that looks. So we're going to leave that one there for right now. And we're going to try our other option over here, which is what I think, in my opinion, is probably the most likely to work. It's going to be these birch stairs. And let's see. We'll go ahead and get these ones in and... I'm thinking actually now it's it's too much wood. There's just too much wood in this build so far. So even though I thought those would be the most likely, it turns out that our miners are going to be very uncomfortable sitting on stone because we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this one. All right, and we're not just serving food here either. We're, we're going to be able to buy tools and stuff here as well. I think, you know, that's that's practical, right? It's practical. It's dual purpose. So we're going to build a little countertop in right here. We'll put a kitchen like little shop area in the back over here. And yeah, I think that's going to work. That's enough space for it. So what we can do now is we can go over here. We can add a door in to the side right here so we can come check on our guy because, you know, we're management. So we need to check on our employees. And it's not that I don't trust our employees or our prospective employees. It's that the villagers here haven't proven themselves to be the most reliable bunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this beam across for continuity's sake. We're also going to add some slabs on the bottom of it. And, you know, this is also going to serve the purpose of not letting them just jump out whenever they feel like getting off work. It's about a block and a half tall. I mean, if I can't just jump over the counter when I went off work, why should they be able to, right? <laughs> Now, as far as the layout of our kitchen goes, you know, it's not a full-blown restaurant. This place is more of a snack bar. You can kind of see the stone in the back. I think I need to go ahead and replace that. But yeah, it's not a full-blown restaurant. It's more of a place to come chill and grab a snack or two once you're off work. And, uh, you know, we'll work in a restaurant maybe somewhere else. I don't know if it's really necessary. <laughs> but, um, you know, we'll, we'll work on that in the distant future once we get some more practical stuff built. But yeah, we'll go ahead and add a chest room right here. And uh, we'll put uh, maybe a sink in front of it. So we'll throw this cauldron in right here. We'll fill that up with water. And then on the sides, we'll probably put a couple furnaces just like that. We also need a little bit more counter space. So we'll put those in right there. And we also need a place for our menu to go. So we're going to go ahead and take these stairs out. We're going to replace them with full blocks. And that's just so we can stick our item frames on it. And that's going to be our menu. Now, you guys might remember Chad. We met Chad back in episode two. Him and his friend Balthazar, our local toolsmith. Well, they had a little falling out, and Chad's come upon some hard times lately, so he's been asking for work. Chad. Chad and only Chad has been asking for work. Please get out. That's, that's not meant for you. 
All right, let me go ahead and break this. All right, so like I said, Chad's been asking for work, so we're going to employ him at the Enchanted Pickaxe. If I can get him in this boat, do you not want to get in? Your friend just walked right in, can't you? Now you're just going to stand on top of it? Listen, Chad, if you're going to be this difficult to work with, I don't know if I want you as an employee. All right, get in the boat, Chad. Are you serious? Listen, I can't afford to pay both of you. If you want to come work for free, that's fine. Get in the boat, Chad. We're going to be late for work. All right, so now we're going to carpool over to work. This is how we, we get around right now, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, this looks so ridiculous. Uh, that's awesome. All right, come on, we're going to... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I've got myself stuck. All right, traffic jam. We're going to be late for work, Chad. This is not how we do things here, Chad. You're never going to make employee of the month like this. Please get back to your post. All right, just get back there. Get behind the counter. And remember, if anybody comes, service with a smile. All right, well, that about wraps up our first floor, and we're about 20 minutes into the video. So, um, you remember how before, I think in episode 7, I said I was going to start shortening the duration of these videos? That doesn't look like it's going to happen. This is probably going to be my longest video yet, because we still have two more floors to do. We have this room up here, and uh, which is going to be our home. This is going to be our starter house, and we have our attic to do still. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this like I did downstairs. We're going to do the walls first. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take care of that, and I'll meet you guys back here in a few minutes. Now, as far as the duration of the video goes, I don't think I'm going to end up cutting it. Um, I considered cutting it in half and doing the bottom floor separate from the top floor, but, you know, I think the videos are just going to go on as long as it takes to get the job done. Now, you can see I've got the walls complete, and uh, what we're going to do now is figure out what to do over here, because this is like the only odd area I can't figure out what to do with. And, you know, I kind of want to take those out, but I can't because that is actually our roof. So, um, what we're going to do, I think, is just try to find a way to dress this up a little bit. Now, what we can do is we can probably make this into its own little, like, separate area, make it into its own little separate room. So, we can probably put this right here where these join together and use that as a kind of divider. It's kind of even with that one, so that works out well. And then we could probably end up separating this as well. And we could have this front area be like kind of a living area that leads into our enchanting area and that back area... Um, kind of a bedroom. So let's go ahead and get these walls in place and I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, all right. So I really need to get some carpets in here. Uh, I was thinking we could put these stairs in here like this just so it's not so blocky. So we'll go ahead and get those in place. We'll see how that looks. If I can get out. All right. And yeah, that looks good. So what we can also do is we can stick a block in here and then we'll go ahead and do the rest of this. And I won't do this on camera since it's more wall stuff, but I'll be back with you in... I gotta stop saying I'll be back with you in a few minutes. I'll meet you back here in a second. <laughs> That's only slightly different. All right, now I don't know if carpets are your definition of fun, but we're going to go ahead and do some carpet now. Yeah, carpet time. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna go and uh, get the border of this carpet in, in black, and then we'll figure out what to do with the middle of it. Carpets are one of those fun things to play around with that you can like mess around with for hours, and I promise I'm not going to keep you here for hours watching me do this carpet. Let's go ahead and fill in the middle in black too. I like black carpet. Uh, it's not just going to stay black. We're going to try to work in a design here. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and play around with this and uh, we'll see what we can what we can accomplish. OK. <laughs> All right. So I've spent about half an hour working on this carpet and I've come up with so many different designs. One looked like a ninja star, which was kind of cool. But yeah, I think this is what we're going to go with. You know, it's, it's just a, a simple pattern and, you know, I like it. It looks kind of cool, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that like that and then we're going to come over here to the door. We're going to do like a little doormat right here to block that uh, to block that light switch. So we can go ahead and maybe set this one right here just to kind of match. We'll do gray and white just like we did with the uh, the other carpet. And uh, where's my light gray? Right there. And we'll keep that one simple. We'll just do it like that. And I think that's going to be it for the carpet in this main area. I think that's good. The entrance looks good. So what we can do next is I think I want to add kind of a, a chair right here, a comfy chair where I can sit and look out the window. So we'll go ahead and put a quartz slab down there. We'll throw some trap doors on the side. We'll bring that one up like this. We'll bring this one up like this. And we'll put some on the back right here. We'll bring that one up like that. And we'll set one more on top of it. And that's not our comfy chair. That's awkward. Let's go ahead and take that one out. All right. And we'll set this trap door on top of it where it was meant to be. If I can get it in there properly. There we go. All right. Now we got our comfy chair where we can sit and look out the window and enjoy the view. There's not much of a view. We're looking at a wall. I need to take this out. 
Let's go ahead and get rid of these blocks. We'll uh, extend our window. We'll see how that looks. All right, so let's hop on out here. We'll grab these stairs and we can put our glass in here now because we do have a silk touch pick, which means we don't have to worry about losing anything we put in. So um, we'll stick these right in here and we'll go back and we'll see if that changes the look of it. Hopefully it doesn't make it look bad. No, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I like how that looks. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it just like that. Now we can, uh, we can head on back inside and we can check out our living area. And I think it's looking pretty good. I mean, this is very, very easy. Um, it didn't take as much time as I thought it would. So we might not run as far over as I thought we would originally. But yeah, the living area is looking good. Our view is awesome. Look at that view. That is, oh, this is going to be nice. All right, now we can get, get started on the, uh, the bedroom. Now, as far as our bedroom goes, I think we're going to divide it into two main sections. I think this area right here is going to be where we actually keep our bed. And this area right here is going to be kind of a closet area. So um, what we can do is we can make a little divider. Probably, since so we've got that window right there, it'll have to be back here by one, like one behind the window. And now we can go ahead and throw our walls in here like this. And we'll just keep it simple. We'll throw some slabs in there like that to build up our walls. So we'll do this side as well. And get this in here like that and then to make our entryway a little bit nicer we can throw some stairs in here like that cool 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 all right so next thing we need to do is add some storage in here so we know it's closet so we'll put a chest right there we'll put a chest on this side and you know that's where we're going to keep our stuff so we might as well go ahead and finish it out i mean it's just placing chests so we'll go ahead and do this one this one and maybe do two more on the sides of the window one right here one right there and yeah, I mean, that's, that looks like a closet to me. So we'll go ahead and leave it at that. It's, it's simple. You know, it's a closet. We're not using it as a, as a room. It's not supposed to be decorative. Next thing we can do is throw some ladders up here that will get us up into the attic. Not right there. How'd you end up there? All right, right there. Now, as far as lighting solutions go, we're going to handle it much the same way we did the first floor. We're just going to put some redstone lamps and some lovers down. And let's pop down here. We'll see how this looks. So yeah, the lighting, I think, works. You know, that looks good. Let's come back here, check out the living area. Lighting in there looks good. All right, so you can see I, I did some like weird stuff with the ceiling right here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not, but you know, I think it looks decent for now. It gives a little bit of extra texture, a little bit of extra interest. And I don't think it looks bad. So next thing we need to do is start on our bed. So I think we're gonna add some color in here. We're gonna splash some color in here with these blue beds. And we're gonna do king size because you know, it's our house. You know, we deserve a king size bed. I wanna sleep in comfort. I wanna be able to roll around. I roll around a lot at night. Then we need to um, we need to handle this uh, this hole in our floor now. So we'll go ahead and cover it up with carpet. If I can get it in there right about... Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I saved some room for our headboard up there. And now that I think about it, maybe we can, instead of just having a headboard, we can bring the wood down the whole way around. So let me go ahead and bring our headboard stairs out. We'll bring these slabs out as well. And uh, what we're going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to do it on camera. I was going to I was gonna cut, but let's go ahead and just do it on camera and see how it looks. Those aren't slabs. All right. <laughs> We'll go ahead and put these slabs down around this around the bed and we'll uh we'll see how that looks. We'll put one right there, one right there, one right here, one right here, one right here, and then we'll use our stairs as a headboard up here. And uh let's go ahead and see if this looks decent. Uh yeah, I kind of like that, but it would look better in dark oak. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that with dark oak and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. Alright, we're on a roll now. The bedroom is done. Um now, I think we'll do a final reveal of everything at the end of the episode, like the pinball machine, the pool table. You haven't seen those like in action, fully in action yet. So uh, we'll do like the tour of the house at the end of the episode. But right now I'm going to go ahead and get the walls in place. I think we said we we're going to do a skylight up here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in place. And then I will meet you back here and we can see how everything's looking so far. All right, so this will be the last piece of glass for this skylight. I did two separate versions. I did one that kind of sticks out of the roof and one that kind of is recessed into the roof. And I'm not sure which one looked better. I actually don't think either of them will look particularly good um, just by just by seeing how they look from the interior. But we'll go ahead and see them from the outside and uh, we'll decide then what we can do with this roof. It does look plain, so we're going to have to do something there. All right, so uh, those are both disgusting. I don't like that at all. It, maybe it wouldn't look so bad with a border around it, but I think what would look better there is probably a dormer window. And I'm not going to spend too much time showing you guys the construction of the dormer window as we already did the exterior. I mean, the exterior stuff was in episode three and episode six, I believe. And uh, we actually did a dormer window originally in this building in episode three. So we're not going to spend too much time on that. That's not going to work, is it? Because the, um, yeah, I, do, I did like this front design. But I don't think we can manage to work it in there while keeping the window as skinny as I want it to be. So what we're probably going to have to do is take these stairs out, 
and uh, we'll probably have to replace them with solid um, spruce uh, spruce blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and we'll knock out the window, and then uh, we'll check out and see how it looks. Hopefully, hopefully this works out. All right, so we'll just bring these slabs back. We'll connect this piece of our roof to the rest of our roof and check out the window. Um, it's as skinny as I want it to be. I think if we went any fatter, it would look out of place. I think it would like uh, just take too much attention away from the entrance. Yeah, that's that's perfect. I like that. I like that a lot. It's more residential than our other side, so the window works in perfectly there. We can check out from this side and make sure it looks okay with the side of the building. And yeah, that works. Our, it's like our building has two separate faces, which is which is kind of cool. So we'll go inside and um, I'll knock out the rest of the attic. It's just putting walls up. There's no real decoration involved. And then we'll do a tour of the building. All right, guys. So we're pretty much done with the interior. There's not going to be a whole lot of pomp and circumstance inserted here since this video has run on too long already. So let's go ahead and get our tour started. So we'll go over here to the front entrance. You can see we've added some stone pressure plates out front, some wooden ones in the back. So we can get some automatic doors. I think that's pretty cool. You know, I hate having to open doors myself. I'm lazy like that. We got our seating right here. The chairs are pretty cool. You know, we got seating right here. We did the carpet right here, which is looking pretty good. You know, it's it's brown. It's it's suited to the building. And right over here, we have our resident toolsmith, Chad, who is on his cell phone in the corner. Uh, what am I going to do with him? Anyway, I think this place is looking pretty. Oh, hey, hey, you know, we talked about this professionalism, accountability. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think this is looking pretty cool. We test out our pinball machine right here. Ah, oh, that's going to get old so fast. All right, that's pretty cool, though. I like that. We can test out our pool table as well. Throw some money into that one. Ah, <laughs> oh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. And now we need to turn off this pinball machine. So we're going to go back here to this, uh, our little maintenance area right here. Um, and we made a little hole so we can grab our coins and stuff. We can collect our money once we're done using our machines. We got this one right here, and we can head back up out here. I did the uh, I did this room. Yeah, I mean it's it's very simple, um, you know, and it's very dark down here. That's why I added these uh, these slabs right here to prevent any spawning. So it's dark, but it's not going to spawn any monsters. So I think we're good. In case it does, we do have a fence right here to keep everything locked in. Now down here, this is going to be our storage area. Um, it's a future side of our storage area, which we haven't started working on yet. We'll do that some other time. It's actually going to extend kind of to the left and go underneath the center of our town. But we'll work on that later. Oh, uh, the reason why it's going to extend to the left and go under the center of our town is because I want it to kind of connect to all the other buildings, you know, so we can access it from different places in our town. Let's go ahead and put these, uh, these billiard balls back in their table. You know, we'll be nice. We'll be nice because we're not the only ones that play pool here. So we'll go ahead and throw these back in there. The, the dropper only shoots out nine items at a time. It holds nine separate items. So we get some variety every time we use it. Throw the cue ball back in there, and that's good. I think this place is looking pretty cool. Now, in all honesty, we're probably never going to use that pool table, and we're never going to use the pinball machine again after today because, you know, they serve no real purpose. But, you know, I kind of like them. I like the fact that we work those little details in there. I think that's pretty nifty. So the first floor is done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to have another peek at our dormer window. And I know we just looked at this because this was literally the last thing I recorded before I started doing this little um, tour. But we're reviewing all our stuff, so yeah, that looks pretty cool. We'll have another look at it from the back. We're just reviewing everything we did today. And yeah, I mean, that definitely helps with the back of this, this house. I think that looks pretty awesome. Now, while we're outside, let's go ahead and uh, go over to this side of the house. And uh, this is where that cliff was, or still is actually, because we haven't worked on that. I'm going to save this part. We said we were going to work on it, but I'm going to save this until we actually do the terraforming of the whole area. So let's go ahead and review the interior of our second floor, which is where we live. This is our starter house. So you see we've got the entryway right here. We've got the carpet. We've got our stone pressure plate right there, which actually looks really good with the carpet. And we've got our nice comfy chair, which is awesome. We've got our beautiful view right here. Ah, that's nice. So we got our um, adventure chest right next to our chair, which is where we're going to keep the stuff we're going to take out our, on adventures with us. I got to put water in that bucket right there. And we got our bed, of course, when we need to sleep while we're out. Right here we have our lapis chest. And uh, that's for our enchanting table, which is right there. We have more stuff to put in these chests. You know, I have a whole stack of stuff out there. I got a whole a bunch of chests in the mine, too. Uh, but yeah, our enchanting table is looking pretty good right there. We got some paintings on the wall. And if we go in here to our bedroom, you see we've decorated this a little bit more. And I think that's looking really good. We got our nice little bed right there, which will be a nice place to relax at the end of the day. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get our painting back up. Uh, I don't want that one. I want Pinocchio. I don't want that one. We already have that one right there. Uh, paintings are the bane of my existence. Okay, come on. Pinocchio. No. <laughs> there we go. All right. So our closet right here, we have our storage chest on this side. I started organizing them. As you can see, we got our wood chest right here, but that organization fell apart when we got to our uh, rock chest. <laughs> so 
Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that at that for now. Um, we took the chest out of this side. We put an armor stand and a crafting table in here. That seems more practical. We can put something cool on our armor stand eventually. Our spare spare suit. We're going to make a spare suit too. Um, but yeah, I think the bedroom is looking pretty cool. I really like this whole area here. This is a nice little starter house. It's going to make a nice little house for one of these villagers once we finally move out. Um, but yeah, I think that's looking awesome. And uh, we can head out. Oh, you know what? You know what? We didn't tour the attic. We got to go up in the attic. So let's go head up here and you can see it's very simple. It's very plain. You know, I just added some extra storage up here. We got the roof in place. We got the walls in place. And uh, oh, we did like the standard garage floor, like checkerboard pattern with the carpet here. Nothing too exciting. We added some seating right here so we can come hang out with our anvil and our furnace. Um, you know, nothing's in there. We just got some coal in there for right now. Right here we have our books. And this is pretty cool. Look at all these mending books we got from fishing. I'm actually going to take care of those. I'm going to put some mending mending enchantments on our armor once we uh once we end this video. But yeah, um, I think that's it for now, guys. So this has been my starter house. This has been the interior of the enchanted pickaxe. This is the whole enchanted pickaxe complete. So let's go ahead and go back inside the first floor and we'll do the proper outro to this video. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that in here before I start doing the mending enchantments, before I start collecting resources to finish our ship build. Let's jump up here real quick. And yeah, I, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Oh, this is so rude. Let me get off the table. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I really do deeply appreciate it. If you like what you saw, please feel free to share, like, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I've been Lobo and I'll see you guys next time.